Morning everybody, yes welcome to the garden, my name is Tony Smith and today this is my garden. Now look at this, <laughs> look at this, it was the hottest day yesterday the probably living memory in the garden. I'm off today, right, I've dressed myself like some timeshare salesman from Tenerife and it's cloudy as anything, man, it's just it's not bloody fair. So the seeds came you know me sprouting broccoli seeds came and i forgot i ordered i'll just show you what i ordered there i'll pour them onto this little so i got the sprouting broccoli but i also got and i got them early because everyone keeps buying them up i got three packets of broccoli this claret oh i got and two of the what you call it banana shallots and you got a free bagger parsnips as well so claret f1 now these are the ones charlie dowden kind of favors as well so i want to get them into a pot but i also lots to do where's that um, oh i put it outside for that i need to get that pumpkin sorted out so i'm gonna stick it here i'm thinking and i don't mind if it trails because it will trail and i'll if it trails that way, I'll try and aim it to go that way, which will be handy. You know, because I never really use that little bit path, but I get these things up first. Oh. Just going to give it a nice little soak, and I have been looking after it. Just get it nice drop of water on it there keep it going I'm just going to put some of that actually <laughs> bloody not much left of it Gosh, any one of me bloody parsnips never came man dry as sticks god on the last couple of handfuls to be honest I mean it looks like oh look at that man let's break that root off a little bit spread them out this was from if you remember growing locally up in Scotland I think Ian's gonna start doing this like and I think so anyways he'll have to drop us a, a note I'll mention in the comments if he is Use it all up. Nice. There's more money going. Right, give that a nice little. Actually, you can do the same thing. Build it up, a bit of a mound, and then a moat. <laughs> I'll keep a little bit of this for this plum tree. I think I'm just growing a green tree there because there's no fruit on that. <laughs> I did have mind you. Look at, look at the starting to come. Can you see? I might get a little picking from them. Right. Oh, look at them bad boys there. Right. Oh, lovely. And I was mentioning, if you remember, where I got these from. Th there was like a batch of four. So I, can, I know that these aren't as well on, you know, so you have like a different, your season kind of lasts for ages. Look at the bloody grass comes through. I can't stop it. Look at them weeds there, mind you. Going on there. Oh, nah, I'll touch that nettle. Leave that nettle to on. Now, as you can see, it's all, you know, in a relatively kind of nice, all nice and tucked about, apart from, look at this bloody border. Wouldn't you think I would get my arse out and get it? Well, not. <laughs> right. I've just noticed that and it's like, man, I'm just going to give it a quick hoe. Here we go. 
Now I went over to my mum's the other, the other week and she gave us these, you know, these were like spare and I've tried to water them but they're just, but they might just come now bit of colour along that border eh? and a good water mind this whole tree is light you know what I mean, normally it should be soaking with water right, I was doing great guns there but I've lost my trowel I was just putting it in the pumpkin I don't know where the thing's gone now oh man I've been, honestly, I said, oh, God, typical meal. I've been here, I've took my sponge mutton back off again, because I put it on there. For God's sake, man, the heat, it's just colour top. Right, I've lost it again. Where'd I put it? Oh, it they might come, they might not, but I'll give them a month and we'll see. And if not, I'll put some dwarf beans in. To be honest, I'm not really in any hope with these, to be honest, they're bloody uh, so dry. I mean, I never even watered them into the ground. I'm going to, but I never give the pots of water. I think I'll be here for a good, good hour soaking this soil. Man, they're dry. I'll, I'll be able to tell pretty quickly, you know what I mean? If they've took, I think the Pelagonia, is it, or geraniums will take. They seemed all right. Well, we'll see, we'll see. I'll tell you what I've noticed, my dear. There's a wind getting up there, nice breath, fresh wind. But, i to shut me polytunnel. <laughs> this is where Steve's advice always comes in and I'm kind of, oh, Steve does his, you know, his sweet corn with like a, a protective netting. And this is when it gets knocked over, so we'll just, I might just leave that gate open, just to take a little bit of the, the force off. Right, let's get them bloody... Oh, that's what I was going to do. I'm thinking of pulling these garlic now. I'll tell you why, just get the bed kind of ready for some dwarf beans. Look at the bloody purple teepee in Hilton. There. Another week's time, they'll be kind of away, ready to plant out. Ishikuas are just starting to come through. Um, Bullfords, what was that again? I can't remember what that was. Bullfords. Bold, bold, hardy man, beetroot, you silly old buggy. That's ready for kind of cropping there now. That's the second batches. Oh, them greens, you know what? Actually on the thumbnail. All them have come. Wow, remarkable. So I might Do I get them? Just get that better ready or leave it a few more days. I'll leave it a few more days, it's not nothing certain. I'll get these because these oops it's been like say a wind. Where are they? <laughs> They're not there. So. Is that some? Yeah, broccoli these claret. Man, it's windy. F1s, I'll put in one of my trays. I'm gonna actually, I'll just I'll do them in a green one because then I'll be able to transplant them, or I might even transplant them to the big mother of a one. This this thing here. Now, if you like this video, do think about subscribing. Subscribing costs you nothing. Yes, you know the spiel. Subscribing costs you nothing, and all it means is you'll be notified when I put videos out, so you know not to come back here and give us a thumbs up as well. And the idea is to put them in this bed and then go from there. And have I got it in here or not? I think I, I bought some pigeon netting because you've got to protect them from now <laughs> right until spring. Do you know what I mean? So, right, let's get them planted anyway. They're sown, should we say, too, and my for God's sake. Simple as this, eh? <laughs> Wait, I need a little tamper. Excuse me. What nature give her? I'll actually give that a little bit of a water. So I was just giving that a little quick water there and like I say, these are the, the broad beans that are going and you can kind of see they're coming, you know, so it won't be that long but when I was watering look at these bottom ones there, I mean they're still a little bit but it'll not be long before I start getting some pickings off that and actually that bed seems to have worked yeah, they're going a bit out now but what, 
or dozens, you know what I mean? But it's it's kept them up a little bit because there's about eight inches of depth there. So hopefully we'll have some beans off them. Oh, look at them ones there. Man. Still a little bit. Just a touch, just a touch. Yeah, you could pick them sweet, but I want to hang on. So these were from DT Brown. And like I say, it's now the time to plant them ready. I mean, this is bizarre, ready for spring next year. We don't get many. Actually, I'll just put the whole lot. I got a few packets like, but... Well, that's it. How many do you actually get? 50 seeds. That's enough, isn't it? If I, can, if I can bring three or four through the season, that would be all you need. But it's just like that early spring. And if you remember, and this is what I learned off Charlie, cover them for the pigeons in the spring and I didn't. And you've seen what happened, <laughs> little buggers. So I've shown them, <laughs> it's, today's the 14th, the 14th of June, middle of June, and this is not until like say next February, March, do you know what I mean? It's just like months away, man. <gasps> They're important. These ones are important. Right, we'll get them there. Putting these, these are the, another, I've got another packet of these claret and the banana shallots. Very important, get these put away. Right then, I think, I think that's it, eh? I think we've had a good, a good time. A good time has been had. Look after yourselves, take good care.